We're checking out the five best fun basketball passing games here so far on the Oswish channel. Starting with Jedi Ball. In this game, players surround a Jedi who's defending an object. The goal of the game is for the players on the perimeter to work together to try to knock over the object being defended by the Jedi. The Jedi should not kick the ball but may use their arms and lower legs to stop the ball from hitting the object. They cannot lift their foot off the ground to deflect the ball. If a player knocks the object over, they become the new Jedi. Number two, rob the nest. In this game, we have four teams, each team at a corner of the half court. That's called their nest. The goal of the game is for athletes to work together to get the most balls in their nest. When a team gets four balls in their nest, they win. Once the balls have gone from the middle, players may steal the ball from the other nest. You can see here players are doing a ball handling drill, a couple of dribbles and then making an overhead pass. You can add the skills you want to the game that you want your athletes to work on. The team that has the four balls in their nest first wins the game and players cannot prevent other players from stealing balls from their nest once the balls have left the middle. You can only have one person running from any one team at any one time. Tally ball. In this game, we have two teams pitted against each other, trying to get four passes in a row to get a point. When a team gets four passes in a row, they place the ball down and the other team will pick the ball up so they can try to get four passes in a row. The goal of the game is for a team to get five points to win. If a ball gets deflected, the player that has the ball starts their count straight away from zero. If a team intercepts the ball, their count starts from zero again also. Number four, end zone. The goal of this game is for a team to get the ball over their try line or their baseline. To get a point, they must step with one foot in and one foot out of the baseline or two feet in, but they must not have two feet out. If both feet are out of bounds when they attempt to score, then the opposing team must start play from the sideline. Have players match up on each other for defense and communicate. Ball in the ring. In this game, players are around the center jump ball circle with one defender in the middle. Similar to pig in the middle, the middle defender is trying to get a fingertip to the ball. There are some rules for the perimeter players. They cannot pass the ball to the person that just passed it to them, they cannot pass to the person next to them, and they cannot pass over the head of the person in the middle. If they do any of those things, they're in the middle. If a player gets a deflection, then the person who last touched the ball swaps and becomes the person in the middle. This is a good game to teach faking a pass to make a pass. So we teach fake high, pass low, and fake low, pass high. Thanks for checking out this video. Please take time to hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell to be advised when new videos are uploaded. I hope you had as much fun watching this as we did making it. Please check out our other videos. We'll see you in the next one.